Well, everybody, I was not expecting to make a video today, and there's no guarantee that this will get any attention at all, but I had to share this with you because I stumbled onto something interesting today. You see, there is a new game in town, and it is called Tales of the Shire. Now, from what I understand, this game is supposed to be a mix between Stardew Valley, Animal Crossing, and The Hobbit. It takes place in the Shire of all places, and you get to customize and make your own Hobbit. But do you see anything interesting about the video behind me? You may notice that some of these hobbits are actually black in fact one of the hobbits that you're supposed to interact with as a main character is a black hobbit now historically hobbits are not black they are all white and something really strange occurred to me while watching this video not only does this appear initially as a dei infused video game but a lot of other people who tried to comment on this post thought so as well but guess what weta workshop the developer slash creative team that has worked with private division to develop this video game has locked and hidden the replies to this post because they are all overwhelmingly negative they have angered the gaming community irreparably as they're all responding with very angry comments these are comments that i have unhidden for your viewing pleasure especially the most liked ones and uh, they have very interesting things to say to weta who are clearly trying to push a diverse and inclusive game and we will go over what they are about as a company in just a few moments but check these comments out tolkien rolling in his grave 369 likes these people are about to be ratio before long does not pass the vibe check holy s it looks bad is this game for the modern audience did you not see what happened to concord and dustborn well apparently they did not binary recoil says that's fine but where are the hobbits hate to have to point this out to an adult that should be able to read but hobbits are white you want black mutant midgets fine make an ip that has black mutant midgets and people are already pointing out how untolkien this game appears as it is trying to rewrite history and make a bunch of hobbits black i know that they're trying to do the same thing in rings of power we're about halfway through that silly season two and they've already taken many creative liberties with the plot there's something strange going on in hollywood and the video game industry with trying to destroy the lord of the rings ip they did the same thing with Gollum, and that game studio has now shut down it was rumored that they were working with sweet baby inc which may have resulted in such an underdeveloped and sucky video game that resulted in their studio shutting down. It's not confirmed 100%, but it is interesting nonetheless. So let's read a few more comments before we move on to the meat and potatoes of this video. What if instead of trying to ruin everything we love, you made your own things for your freak audience? Can't wait to see this fail and the studio closed down. Not gonna lie, there is no wonder now why these people locked the comments. This reception is way too overwhelmingly negative for them to show publicly to the audience. Now, this is also also very important to note they locked the comments which means that these developers who are in charge of this video game are not willing to hear any dissenting opinions anybody who says that this game sucks they're not going to be seen by the public because way to workshop is hiding those comments now how many times have we seen game developers try to hide their works from people when they start to point out the flaws and the cracks in the armor way too many times right and we're seeing very similar results here from this reception that people are giving at a workshop over this cozy and huggable game as they say we're going to look into the company itself so check this out this is their website for the video game tales of the shire this is on what a workshop and what a workshop actually has a rich history in hollywood and filmmaking working with people like james cameron and designing very complex movie props among other things they're just designers they do a bunch of things they make video games as well so this website shows you what this game is all about it says right here here. Welcome home, Hobbit. From the creative studio, what a workshop. Live the cozy life of a Hobbit in the wonderfully serene landscape of the Shire. Discover, decorate, and share in this idyllic corner of Middle Earth. Join friendly Hobbits and familiar faces awaiting your arrival in Tales of the Shire, a Lord of the Rings game. Create your own Hobbit as you set forth in Bywater. Though not yet established as an official village in Hobbiton, play a big part in helping the quaint town flourish. So yes, this game is basically starting do valley but with hobbits in it and they're already displaying some red flags that a lot of people are pointing out the general populace sees this and they're like oh no bueno no thank you this definitely looks like a dei slash sweet baby video game and what a workshop is like fine then you guys don't get to have a conversation with us because these people are never willing to have a conversation they never take criticism well they always try to hide the criticism until their game comes out because they all try to pretend that nothing is happening and that this will eventually 
nearly all blow over. So let's take a look at their website itself. So Weta Workshop, these people have actually won Oscars working on Hollywood films, and they are branching out to other types of projects in multiple industries, now including the video game industry. So they have worked on multiple movies like Renfield and The Tank, Assassin, Love, Death, and Robots, Avatar. So that makes sense, Love, Death, and Robots. Creature design and environmental elements for season three. They also worked on Avatar The Way of Water. So they worked with James Cameron. World building and concept design. They sound like an amazing company, right? Why is Dread making a video about these people who are clearly very well known in Hollywood? Well, let's take a look at their hiring processes. Join us as our team grows. It's important that we continue to foster an environment where diversity and inclusivity is a priority. <laughs> oh, great so happy wonderful together we are a community of creators passionate about making incredible things we are seeking the best game makers storytellers and artists to join us in wellington new zealand blah 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 the same old tired tropes and they always accuse us of being conspiracy theorists and pushing a bunch of nonsense about how there's some kind of crazy boogeyman out there trying to destroy the gaming industry from within but we always see proof don't we almost every single day something like this pops up and now we're being made more aware of what this company is doing and what's really interesting is that they're working with private division on this stuff so private division is a developer focused publisher and they've worked with moon studios if you guys remember i did a video on no rest for the wicked these guys were legit based and their game was a lot of fun now the guy who was in charge of that video game already swore off gaming consultancy agents in the past he said that working with them was a pain in the rectum and he he got rid of that person ASAP because they were causing friction within the company. So it's fascinating to me to see these people working together with Weta Workshop. I wonder how Moon Studios will feel about this. Now, not everybody is on the same page with diversity, equity, and inclusion, but it is very important that we make note of a couple of things. They have locked replies, so you cannot have a conversation on that post. They've made a couple of posts since then, but I think that they're getting a little bit slammed in those as well. I don't know if they're going to close the comments on that one. One, but the fact that they're locking and hiding replies is very telling to me. It shows that they are panicked. They're very worried that they're going to get negative reception once this game is actually released. And something else that I find very interesting is that this game is being delayed. Cozy Lord of the Rings game Tales of the Shire delayed to early 2025. You shall not pass certification. I wonder why this is happening. It says Tales of the Shire is a cozy life sim set within the Lord of the Rings universe originally due out this fall across PC via Steam. Now, they're going to do a September 22nd showcase of this game. We're probably going to see far more details than we're seeing today. But I saw these red flags right away, and so did many other people. And the moment that they did and started talking about it, they had all of their replies locked so that no more conversation could happen. Now, the other thing that I was talking about, I said a couple of things we need to remember is that they are pushing diversity, equity, and inclusion. It's not really a surprise to me since these people have worked in Hollywood for quite a long time now, and Hollywood emanates the diversity, equity, and inclusion ideology. They push it into every facet, every corner of their little echo chamber, and this stuff is bleeding into the video game industry now. With Weta Workshop pushing diversity, equity, and inclusion, now they're working with Private Division who have also worked with Moon Studios. That's concerning. What else is concerning is just them pushing diversity, equity, and inclusion. It makes perfect sense now why I am seeing these people that look like this working on a game that looks like this with hobbits that are black, not white. And that's something that we see a lot. A lot of these game developers take every opportunity that they can to rewrite the game, gaslight people and lie to them that everything is fine, or they shut you out of a conversation altogether. So here is another excerpt from their website. It says, we are a diverse Kiwi company with an even more diverse crew all working as a team to make cool stuff. These people, man, they just can't stop. I don't understand the obsession with Tolkien's work. Why is it that everybody that gets their hands on these literary works from J.R.R. Tolkien, why is it that they take every chance that they can to destroy it? Well, we might have an answer. Diversity, equity, and inclusion, which are taking a priority, as they say on their own website. It says that diversity and inclusivity is a priority, but how much of a priority is it? Well, apparently, it's taken the forefront of the actual source material. Haters out there can say, well, you're just being racist. You're 
don't like black people in video games. Just say you don't like black people. Sorry. It's the same thing that I've been seeing before. Sweet Baby Inc. pushes this stuff. Other gaming consultancy agencies push this stuff. We've seen it before. We're seeing it again. And we're getting the exact same reactions. It's like these people are on autopilot. And if they get any kind of dissent, any kind of disagreement, they try to disappear into the void and pretend that nobody else exists until it's already too late. <laughs> Dustborn. <laughs> Concord. Well, let's take a look at the people who are ambassadors to this video game. So excited to announce my role as a brand ambassador for Tales of the Shire. This is Cozy K Kennedy. This game has been a dream to get to know, and I can't wait to explore it with you all during the Tales of the Shire showcase on Hobbit Day. See you there. So Hobbit Day is coming up. Now, who is this Cozy K Kennedy? Why am I not surprised? A she, her, YouTuber, streamer, content creator, aspiring rocking chair, cozy gamer. It does appear to me that these developers have already chosen their select audience for this video game. Now, those of you who are in the comments, what do you think about this? Is there a chance that this game is going to get 700 to 1,000 players, maybe more players than Concord, or is this going to go down the drain harder than Dustborn, which as of this moment only has a few single-digit players, most likely the developers at this moment? I'm very curious what you all think, because I'm seeing a giant red flag with the pink haired ladies pushing of DEI, the locking of comments, the hiding of replies. These people are always trying to hide their agenda, aren't they? And I always make videos about these people trying to hide multiple aspects of the agendas that the powers that be shove down our throats vicariously through them. It's like clockwork. These people cannot help themselves the moment they get any kind of pushback. They're like, nope, we're disappearing. That's right. Shut up. You're not allowed to talk to us. So Hobbit Day is coming up. September 22nd is approaching. Will you be watching? Will you be analyzing this game? And will we find even more wrong with this project? And that is all I've got for you guys in this video today. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you haven't had the chance to like it and share it with your friends, that would be awesome. And hey, if you're feeling ultra spicy, consider subscribing to my channel so that you're always up to date with what kind of thing I've got going on. I look forward to seeing you all in the next next one. Later. Meow meow.